I, I know you mentioned a little bit of what you hope to get done today, but um, were there any worries uh, heading into today? Well, you know, the Tea Party has had a tradition of nonviolence, and unfortunately for the left, they've had a tradition of violence. And it has happened across the country. There has been a lot of violence that has been taking place from the Occupy Rock. And not Rock, no, I'm sorry, not Occupy Rock, I apologize. From the Occupy Wall Street type of uh, groups. Okay, and just personal feelings on the, uh, the Occupy groups nationwide. I, I just think that they're not really analyzing, critically analyzing what's really going on. They're being spoon fed a lot of things from George Soros and Michael Moore and so on. And I think they really just need to get into a, a, a deep analysis of the real issues, and they're just not doing that. Okay, anything else you'd like to add? We're here not to be violent, um, but to advocate uh, for the restoration of the American middle class. All right, uh, you talked about job creation being one of your goals. How do you create a job? I think uh, that's a question. That's a, that's a question I leave to economists like Paul Krugman, for instance. If, if, we, if we discovered that uh, you know, space aliens were planning to attack, and we needed a, a massive buildup to counter the, the space alien threat, um, and really inflation and budget deficits took secondary uh, place to that, um, this slump would be over in 18 months. And then if we discovered, whoops, we made a mistake. There aren't actually any space aliens. So we need aliens. Orson Welles, be a better, is what you're saying. No, that's a, that's a, there was a Twilight Zone episode like this in which uh, scientists fake a, uh, an alien threat in order to achieve world peace. Well, this time we don't need it. We need it in order to get some fiscal stimulus. Number one, get rid of the big banks, make them too small to fail. I'm just saying that, okay? Join a credit union, join a local bank, get out of the big bank. Two, get people back to work by passing the job. Three, convene constitutional organizations in each state to have an amendment to get the corporation money out of politics. We need to have a fair election. <laughs> all right. Um, do you know who, or you're all here protesting Wall Street, do you know who the top campaign recipient over the last 20 years of Wall Street money has been? The politician. Oh, the, the single person. No, not a single person, but they all contribute to Wall Street, contributes to all politicians, and so do big banks. All of them. They don't care who wins, they just want them on their side. Yeah, uh, over the last 20 years, President Obama has been the biggest recipient. I'm not surprised. All the politicians are in big business at the end. All of them. Not just one or the other. All of them. All right. But more so the Republicans, because the Koch brothers love the Republicans, and they want to take away everything that the middle class owns. They want us to be slaves in our own country. All right. Um, are the Koch brothers trying to raise your taxes? No. I just want to be teabagged. Okay, well, why are you over here, sir? I just want to be teabagged. Okay, well, could you tell me why you uh, are over here and not with the folks over across the street? Because I want to be teabagged. Okay. I want to be teabagged. Sure. Please teabag me. Really? Yeah, that's all I got to say. The party is crazy. Uh, they're lucky. They're lucky. So we're going to go over there and beat them up. <laughs> you want someone to go over there to beat them up? I, 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 I just discriminate nobody, right? Yeah, it's kind, it's kind of hard to hear every word with all the horn honking. Yeah, 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 no, just wanted to make sure. Just wanted to make sure. Just, yeah, no, just check them all out. They're all, they're all senior citizens, man. You gotta have to worry about. They're all rich, shit. You know what I'm saying?
And I'm not against old people, right? But you know, come on, man. It's, why do they, they should be standing over here? That's all right. All right, why do you think the Tea Party is racist? Well, look at them. They're all white. <laughs> for one. And they're all rich. For another, that's all. For the uh, financial racist, too, right? You know, should be able to get the poor, I guess, the poor and everything, you know? Right? Oh, hi. They I just got your They screwed up on They put Obama as a Nazi on a billboard, didn't they? Say, say again? Didn't the Tea Partiers put Obama on a billboard as a Nazi? Remember that? I don't remember that. Ohio, Ohio, yeah, it was on billboards, man. They put Obama up as a racist Nazi. Really? I know the, the, the Tea Party here in Rockford has a billboard up telling people to vote last November. I voted. I'm not a Tea Party member. No. I say, all I see the folks over there doing is standing with flags. Why does that make them racist? Yeah. Oh, come on, man. Look at the class. Look at that Sarah Palin. Anyways, that, that's enough, dude. That, 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 them guys are racist. Everybody knows about it. You know, Tea Party, are you? Uh, no, I'm a blogger. I'm just here covering it. Gotta say, stay on the wrong side of the street. The tea party. All right. Uh, why didn't? Why don't you like the Tea Party? I just told you, dude, they're racist, man. Several different ways. Uh, come on, we have more more. I can sit here all day telling you about the Tea Party. Ah, uh, well, I got a little bit of battery left in my camera. Just look at it, man. Just, just, just real quick, we're see all these people look at them, all right? They're all white for one, right? Scrambling. Two, they're all for the Not these guys. The guys over there. The tea partiers, right? I mean, you know. And they all got enough money for anything you want to do. You mean a big mixture of age and uh, ethnic demographics? Yeah, well, I'm just stating the fact. Man, look at them all. They're all white. I mean, every day is 60 years old over there. And they all got what they need in their big chunk of pie. Which I don't believe they're all going to be anywhere. But, 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 the, but, the, but, the, but, the, What do you think about Social Security? So you think the Social Security program as it's currently structured is a great thing? Well, I mean, you got these people that don't need to be collected or collected. You know? But besides, yeah, yeah, we need Social Security. My belief is we do medic the Medicare, you know, where you got to be uh, more stringent, you know, Medicare fraud and all that stuff, you know. But besides that, you know I miss it. It's like Governor Perry. What do you, what do you call uh, Social Security? A Ponzi scheme. Over there with that kid, look over there with that camera. There, all the people there are 60 years old minimum. Except for two people that are in their 50s down there, okay? That's a something right there. Alright, you care to explain? Um, I've done lots of uh, house cleaning and different jobs for people that would be considered poor. Alright, and uh, what, what do you consider poor? Uh, anybody that would actually qualify for public benefits. But yes, I have been given a job by poor people and I've opened a business and given poor people a job. Have you ever been given a job by a poor person? Have you ever been given a job by a poor person? Never. No. Never. Have you ever been given a job by a poor person? No, I haven't. Have you ever been given a job by a poor person? No. Have you ever been given a job by a poor person? No, I have not. All right. No. I have nothing against uh, major corporations. Capitalism is the only system that has lifted people out of poverty. You can Google Milton Friedman, see what he has to say about that, and you'll learn. Have you ever been given a job by a poor person? No, 
No, and I never will. What kind of a tax code do you favor? I favor direct tax. Uh, what does that mean? Direct percentage on everybody. So, uh, so a, a flat tax on a everyone? flat rate tax. What would that rate be? I don't know. What should the rate be? You tell me. Well, uh, right now the top individual tax rate is 35% and the uh, corporate tax rate federal is 35%. How much higher should they be? Or lower? I s they shouldn't have loopholes that they can get from taxes. They should have to pay the full tax that everybody else has to pay. Yeah, but you were just saying you wanted a flat tax rate. Those are the two current top tax rates. What would your flat tax rate be? 5% to everybody. 5% to everyone? Everybody. 5%. Um, you do know that uh, Republican presidential candidate Herman Cain has a 999 plan of a flat 9% individual tax, a flat 9% corporate tax, and a 9% sales there tax. There shouldn't be a tax difference. Everybody should be taxed equally. Sales tax is different, but corporations should be taxed as people are. Thank mm -hmm. you.